everyone loves to take photos at weddings. But if you're a mere wedding guest, and not the professional photographer hired by the wedding couple, the pictures you take might need a bit of adjustment. In this video, I'll present several tips that will help spruce up your wedding photos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written copy of this tutorial. Even the most beautifully staged photo will look not quite right if it's crooked. Fortunately, this is an easy fix in PaintShop Pro. I'll activate the Straighten tool, which places a straightening bar across the middle. All I need to do is drag the endpoints of this bar so that it follows the horizon, make sure Crop Image is checked, and click the Apply icon. The extra bits are trimmed away, and I have a nice horizontally oriented image. The Straighten tool also works when aligning to something that needs to become vertical. Maybe I want to print a photo at a standard size, or upload it to a social media site, or just trim out some of the background. With the Crop tool, I have a variety of standard ratios, as well as freeform, original proportions if I want to keep the current ratio, or square. I'll choose 5x7 and drag the preview to keep what I want. With the grid lines that divide the preview into nine rectangles, I can easily apply the rule of thirds, positioning the bride at the top left intersection point. There are several other grid options as well. I could click Crop as New Image if the original needs to be preserved, or I can click Apply. If this image needs to be printed, I can also size it exactly. I'll choose Image, Resize, choose the By Print Size option, choose 5x7, and click OK. PaintShop Pro has some easy to use tools that you can use for removing imperfections in your photos, such as moles or freckles. One of the makeover tools is Blemish Fixer. All I have to do is zoom in, size the brush while holding the Alt key, and click to replace each blemish with the pixels from the surrounding area. This tool isn't just for faces, it can also be used to remove dust spots or small scratches. In this photo, the buildings in the background distract from this otherwise idyllic setting. To remove them one at a time, I'll activate the Select tool, drag a marquee around one building, and click the Magic Fill icon in the Property bar. When I do the same thing for the larger building, I have some awkward looking pixels where the building was removed. So I'll select again, and use Magic Fill again. To remove the man in the background of this photo, I'll use Freehand Selection to trace around him, then click Magic Fill. Outdoor nighttime photos can come out too dark if flashes aren't used properly. For this shadowy photo, I'll choose Adjust, Fill Flash. With Preview on Image checked, I can see what happens in real time as I adjust the sliders. With maximum strength and reduced saturation, I can bring out much more detail. For another brightening tool, I'll choose Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Fill Light and Clarity. Adding light makes the image dramatically brighter, and I can sharpen lines by adding clarity. For images that need more general brightening, I can try Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Brightness Contrast. For this photo, I just need to find the right balance between brightness and contrast. When a daytime indoor photo is set by a window, the window light can overwhelm the subject. So for this photo, I'll try Adjust, Backlighting, and nudge up the strength and saturation. I'd like to make this washed out photo more vibrant. So I'll choose Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Hue Saturation Lightness. First, I'll bump up the lightness, then increase the saturation to bring out the colors in the flowers and the food. When you want to make a photo better but you're not quite sure how, a great tool to try is Adjust Smart Photo Fix. PaintShop Pro applies suggested settings automatically, and I can go from there. In this case, increasing overall brightness, 
highlights, and saturation while comparing against the original image. Once you have the perfect photo, PaintShop Pro has hundreds of effects to explore and use. One popular effect is Adjust, Depth of Field, in which I can define the area to focus on, and adjust the level of blur outside this area. The Effects menu is also a great place to explore. I can try Effects, Photo Effects, Sepia Toning, for a retro look, and in Art Media Effects, there are many options to choose from, such as this black pencil effect, which adds a hand-drawn look. For some easy ways to enhance wedding photos, take some time to poke around the Instant Effects palette, which I can open in the Palettes menu. There are several categories, and I'll open Film Styles and click Platinum to see the preview. To apply this effect, which also includes a nice frame, I'll double-click it. Instant effects are scripts, which are a series of effects and adjustments set to run automatically all at once. Many more scripts can be found in our welcome book by filtering the list for all scripts or specific types of scripts. There are several photo effects scripts that would work nicely for wedding photos. Scripts can also be found in Corel's Discovery Center. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on editing wedding photos in PaintShop Pro. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.